about my white girl shoulder. Good work. Oh, those are my ramps. I know. Yeah. Um, so how do you, how do y'all know each other? We grew up together. Really? Yeah. Uh, Joe and I know each other since second grade. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, and this is my little brother. Uh, so, yeah, it's as local as it gets. It's a, I mean, it's a San Antonio story, right? It's like yes. you grow up here, you got close people, you want to get the hell out. You know, we both lived in New York actually at the same time too. But unlike maybe previous generations, it felt like San Antonio had changed so much. And we got to watch it from afar and kind of feel envy for the first time. And it was just in the right state of mind. You know, I've worked in New York for long enough. But I wanna come back and I wanna you know, I wanna to play too. I wanna to, you know, I wanna contribute. The whole idea of every menu we do is whole animal. Our goal, though this is super awesome, we love cooking, is a retail butcher shop here in San Antonio. Only whole animals and only pasture-raised animals from Texas, if possible. So, if I'm not doing a whole pig, I'll do sausage, I'll do an organ meat, or I'll do head cheese, or I'll, I'll do something that isn't just like chops, bacon. You know, the idea, the ethos is whole animal. So tonight, uh, we've got a few animals, actually. One thing I didn't know about Texas before I moved is the goat and lamb here is insane. Apparently, like 90% of the goat that you eat in New York, in the halal like meat carts and stuff, that's Texas goat. So we got goat pastrami on rye bread with a hot mustard and some half cured pickles. Um, really stoked on that. With a goat cheddar too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it kind of matches. Um, so. I personally yeah, yeah. love meat and barbecue, so yeah, ready, to get, ready to get to it. Awesome. <laughs> Roasted delicata squash. It's filled with a chickpea salad with watercress and spinach. And we've got some of the toasted squash seeds, which I think is kind of like the hidden gem of any hard squash. It's really the only part I'm really interested in, but, um, and a little Parmigiana Reggiana in there, so just get at it. Mm, excited. I'm sorry I'm not waiting for anyone right now, but I'm digging in. I think I'm supposed to eat it with the skin on, is what he said, because it's like a thinner skin. So many flavors in my mouth right now. I'm getting the toasted seeds, I'm getting the chickpeas, I'm getting, I think it's like spinach and argula with the vinaigrette. It's really good. I like, I personally like the dumb brown hat because I really like grapefruit and it masks the warmth of the rye pretty well. Um, but any of our house cocktails, um, all of our citrus juices, our grenadine, it's all made in house, it's all craft. We've got a full, full stock bar.
is Swinehouse's House's famous goat pastrami on rye. Not only uh, does do they cook it directly over ac actual wood as opposed to using charcoals or anything else, the goat comes from one of the best places, Windy Hill, in the entire uh, state of Texas, where the goats are just like rolling around, like around rivers and eating all the grass and stuff. I mean, the sandwich is like absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna take the first bite. You don't mind, Mitch? <laughs> Please do. I'm also excited for these pickles because he was saying that he pickled them himself. So. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> right. So since her mouth is full, there's like there's a beautiful creaminess to like the umami of the the goat itself. Like mm -hmm. you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell it's goat. It's, it tastes just like some of the best beef of all time. And then I don't know where the where he got this bread, but uh, it looks like it's gonna be hard and like well toasted, but it has a nice texture, but it still is like biteably soft. It's flavorful. <laughs> the hot mustard, the way it just like spreads on the bread, and when you bite into the whole pastrami of the sandwich, it's warm. I don't know how to explain it. Like, <laughs> it's just good barbecue. Like yeah, like my head's going. Something this good can only come from ridiculous preparation. You can't just like come to the grill and hope it turns out well. <laughs> like he works on these things for days at a time, mm -hmm. and it shows. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is the best thing I've eaten today. <laughs> bomb.com the scope pastrami sandwich and jam yeah, this whole when, sandwich is when, good. When Swine House pops up to do an event, I pop up there to follow. Every That's time. where I'm at. <laughs> We're gonna start doing the same. He knows what he's doing with his food. Hands down, I give him kudos. Amazing food. Um, I honestly strongly believe anything that he makes is gonna be heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Jackie from the Down Market, Alicia. Good to see you. Mitch, our friend. <laughs>